you know, no matter where you fish or what you fish for, I can pretty much guarantee you that your hummingbird fish finder has uh, lakes and rivers that are just littered with waypoints like uh, the ones that are present here on my home lake up north. And you know, no matter how you use those waypoints in your day-to-day -day fishing routine, we can use iPilot Link to generate a navigation route that includes those waypoints. iPilot Link will do the navigation for you so you can spend more of your time fishing and more of your time catching. Let's take a look and see how this would work from the graph. Uh, what I'm going to do from my current position is just go and set a few generic waypoints and I'm going to use these waypoints to build a navigation route using iPilot Link. So there, there's the first, 173. There's the second, 174. And there's the third, 175. So I'm going to build a navigation route from my current position through those three waypoints. Now to do that, what I'm going to do is use the cursor. I'm going to cursor over to the first waypoint, 173, and press the go to button. Now you'll notice that it said navigation started. I have an off course alarm here because I haven't set my prop speed. When we build a navigation route, we're, we're allowed to select any prop speed we want. So I'm going to go ahead and select a prop speed of 10. Now that we're underway, you'll notice that iPilot Link has generated a predicted course route, which is that yellow line. There's my boat that's following it. Right now, all the navigation, all the speed control is through my Tarova. Now, of course, I want to build my route using more than just that one waypoint. I want to start at 173 and go on to 174. So while we're navigating to the first waypoint, I will cursor over to the second one. To 174 and press the go to button again. Waypoint 174 is added to the current route. You'll notice that now we have another leg of my navigation route from 173 to 174. Once I hit 173, my course will change. The next leg of my route is in bright yellow from 173 to 174. Now, I'd like to add 175 to my route as well. I'll go ahead and cursor over to 175 and press go to. Waypoint 175 has been added to the route. <clears throat> you can see that I have three legs in my route from my initial position to 173, from 73 to 74, and then a final one from 74 to 75. My expected route is in bright yellow. The actual course that my boat is taking, of course, is there in gray. iPilot Link is doing all the navigation for me. I have uh, all the directional control and speed control is through the iPilot Link system. Now I can set my speed for any speed I'd like. Here I've set a uh, prop speed of 10. I'm going at almost three miles an hour. That's about where I top off in my, in my current setup. Uh, but I could certainly dial this down to one or two if I wanted to use the route as a way to uh, target docks or trees for casting or really anything else. So I've arrived at 173, taking a hard turn now, and I'll head towards waypoint 175. Now we're coming up at the end of our, uh, of our, of our route that we've generated from our waypoints. Once we hit 175, motor turns off and I'm asked a question. Do I want to save the current route? Yes or no? Well, if this is a productive route, certainly I could save it. If it's an unproductive route, I can just delete the route. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I'm not going to save that route. So there's a great example of how iPilot Link includes some fantastic new navigational tools that have never been possible before until we've integrated the Minn Kota trolling motor with our Humminbird Fish Finder. So there's a lot more to teach you about with iPilot Link. Stay tuned for more.